Ladies and gentlemen, for some time now, years as a matter of fact, I've been a little upset with the uh, theater movie-going experience. In fact, I did a rant on it not too many months back, complaining up a storm about rude people in the theater while I put down, while I plunk down my hard-earned cash just to have a nice couple hours out. It's impossible almost nowadays. I will say there's been a good run for me. Uh, I've seen less of it, but I've also seen less people in the theater in general. So maybe that's just me finding the right small amount pocket windows of time to go. But Dwayne Johnson has decided in his infinite wisdom to stomp all over my good time. He decided to throw another wrench into the system by piggybacking off of a trend that's been taking place during Wicked showings, which is to let people let loose and sing to the top of their lungs, record video, take photos, while I'm sitting here just trying to watch the fucking movie. Let's talk about it. It was already bad enough, friends to go to a movie, sit through a full 30 minutes of trailers, because that's what my Regal experience brings to the table. <laughs> I used to like trailers. It used to be a fun time. Now it's miserable. Now I pace outside of the theater in the hallways, like <laughs> muttering and like an old man yelling at a kid to get the ball out of his yard. <laughs> I've already seen that trailer. Nosferatu, I'm gonna be there, looks great. I don't wanna watch the trailer for the 50th time. I used to like going to movies. I used to like things in general. What the hell happened? People happen, that's what. Eventually, I will make my way back into the theater, sit down, and hope for the best. But there is a percentage of me now. There's a part of my brain that's scanning the area like RoboCop. <laughs> scanning for douchebags. Scanning for douchebags. And I automatically lock in on a couple that are already on their phones during the trailers. And I just, I'm gonna keep my eye on them and I'll see people, I'll keep my eye on them. I'll be like, all right, this person's already has a low attention span. It's gonna be tricky. And what's that brightness level at? Where are we at right now with things? Is it at a 50%, is that a 10%? How much of a rude douchebag is this guy gonna be? Well, what's been happening now with the trend with Wicked is uh, it's a musical if you didn't know. For the one of you that doesn't know this, it's a musical. There's lots of singing, lots of pageantry, lots of dancing. And everybody in the theater apparently decided that they want to be part of the magic. This isn't a Taylor Swift concert, friends. And I don't blame Taylor. I would never blame Taylor for anything because there has been movie concert experiences prior to her, Richard prior to her. We had that Hannah Montana experience. There was a Jonas Brothers experience. There was a Justin Timberlake, I think. I might be making that last one up, but they've been around. Actually, Beyonce had one, I believe, not long after uh, Taylor did. But the Swifties came out in full force, and that made sense. It was the Eras Tour concert. You charged a premium. Theaters were charging like 25 bucks a seat for that thing. It was not even considered a movie. It was known as a concert event. Wicked is not. Wicked's a movie featuring some very talented lead actresses who can sing very well. And the last thing I want to fucking hear is a 35-year-old overweight terrible voice. I don't guess, <laughs> I guess the, the fat shaming is unnecessary. <laughs> the voice is all that matters. There's lots of heavy, beautiful women that have powerful lungs and men as well. But no, um, terrible singer. I don't want to hear her. I don't want to hear uh, Patty belting at the top of their lungs. I don't want to hear Trish singing her to her heart's content. I don't want to listen to Timothy belting one from the back row. I want to hear my pop princess. I want to hear Ariana Grande with her Grande voice. Tell me what's happening in the film. I, I don't think I've been to a Broadway musical in my life. Maybe it's different now, but I'm pretty sure even when you go to those, you're supposed to be silent. You're supposed to let them do the singing and the acting. And regardless, that's not how movies work. Dwayne the Rock, stupid Johnson, who came out and said, let people sing. They paid hard-earned money to do this. That, that's his quote um, from a man who probably has never really set foot in a, in a normal movie theater ever, or at least not for the last like 45 years of his life. How this works, Dwayne, is you do spend your hard-earned money 
to go watch talented people do things, not to listen to some yahoos, some hee-haws a couple rows back singing popular. All right, if I want to listen to a bunch of idiots sing popular, I'll fire up TikTok. It's not complicated. And again, these I think Ariana Grande made $10 million for this film. I'm pretty sure I want to listen to the high paid actress sing and not the person flipping burgers at McDonald's. Not to discredit their job, it's miserable. It's, it's probably harder work than what she's doing. I worked at fast food. I was a Subway sandwich artist, uh, an artisan. As we like to refer to ourselves. So you, you want a cold cut? I'll, I'll whip you up a cold cut. You want a meatball foot long? You better believe I can do that. And this was back in the day when they had the U gouge sub where we cut a U and we popped the top and those meatballs nestled right in like baby birds. And then you covered them back up in case a storm is, is coming. It was beautiful, but I digress. Uh, enough of the enough of the subway. We can talk subway all day. All right? We can talk meats and cheeses to, till uh, the cows come home. But I want to talk about movie etiquette and it's getting worse, not better. So when celebrities come out and they openly endorse bad behavior, we have an issue in this country. But I'm a man of um, solutions, not just problems. And so what I think needs to happen is we need a full-throated force to come out against singing in the movies, unless it's a concert experience where it's, in, where it's encouraged by the actress, or not even the actress, when it's encouraged by the musician ahead of time, like, hey, I want you to treat this movie like a concert. We're gonna charge a premium price, get out your phones and light up the sky and do all this obnoxious stuff. And you'll all be there together doing it. Kumbaya shit but not for regular movies, all right? I don't want to go to a La La Land and be drowned out from hearing Emma Stone perform. Imagine going to Greece back in the day and not hearing John Travolta dancing on top of a car. It's Grease Lightning! Come on, it's ridiculous. Where does the line get drawn? Because I fancy myself pretty good at doing some <laughs> sound effects and fake fighting. But I'm not gonna be able to do that. And I shouldn't be able to do that when I go to John Wick 45. Oh, I, 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 love, I love kind of like playing along. Me and my brother used to play fight all the time. I should be able to do that in John Wick. No, you shouldn't, you stupid asshole. You should sit down and let the, the, the character Take you away into their world. Let the actor wow you with their performance. It's not all about you. And that's what it comes out as. It comes out as selfish. You are not the main character when you go to the movies. You're not even an NPC. You are a witness. You are not even a player of the game. You are sitting idly by watching a let's play. So let's all play together, I guess is the bottom line. It's really all the lines at the end of the day. Lines that you should not be able to sing. Outside of the, the people cheeping constantly during the movie, chip, 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 talking loudly at this point. Oh, we're at Gladiator 2. Uh, cool. The last one came out 24 years ago. So you better believe every asshole is in this movie theater explaining to their significant other what happened 25 years ago to Maximus. Oh, so this character, yeah, mm -hmm, this person was in the original uh, I'm talking at this level during the movie because normally I'm at home watching movies and I can talk like this. You know, I actually, uh, it was brought up to me by my wife. She had a good point. It's, it's a rarity, but it happens once in a while. Shout out to the wife for this one. She said, Adam, even if we were at home watching the movie, I wouldn't want some idiot friend over singing loudly to some of the songs unless maybe we've seen it like five or six times and we're all just kind of having fun together, but that would still be miserable. I don't want that. I agree. So Dwayne Johnson, maybe focus on making the same movie you make every single time. Get paid your 20 to 30 to 50 million dollars a pop, which is sad to believe, but it's true. And just keep quiet about what us normal loser peasants have to put up with at the theater. Because you don't know. At the end of the day, you get to go to your red carpet premiere. You get your own private booth, probably. You get a bunch of people are celebrating you and they're gonna be quiet and they're gonna be respectful. And maybe at the end, they'll give you a standing ovation. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to keep myself from throwing an entire bucket of popcorn at four people up front who can't shut the fuck up. I am holding back the rage to pull the straw out of my soda and <laughs> ice pick someone to death. 
And I got so upset thinking about it, I almost fell forward on my face. And maybe I should just end this, <laughs> this great experiment that we call life and a social construct because it's getting miserable out there in the theaters. Stay strong though, fellow moviegoers. Stay the course and ask for solutions, which I teased earlier but gave none because I really am talking out of my ass at this point. We just can't let them win. And we've been saying this for years. Don't let the phone people win. Don't let the talkers that are loudly ruining the experience get away with it. Hold the line. It's just you and I out there at this point. We need to be true to our movie loving experiences though and not give in. Otherwise, what is happening anymore? These theaters will die. They will crumble because of the assholes. And we can't let it happen. I won't let it happen. All right, thank you for watching the video. Please think about subscribing to the channel if you like the uh, commentary. I do tons of movie reviews every week, live streams, rants, things of that nature. It's all movie related all the time, baby. Sorry for calling you baby. Please think about liking the video, hitting the notification bell, and becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There are so many offerings there and different tiers. So you could just do a dollar a month. It's easy breezy, beautiful, it's cover girl. And you get access to a vault of 300 exclusive videos and counting. If you go higher in the tiers, there's exclusive videos every month of the cringe, of vlogs, of movie reviews. I, I, I provide a lot of content and I'm only asking for a few bucks in return a month to help keep the lights on here. And I would appreciate it. All right, hopefully I see you next time.